uh, we were in charge of the problem framing. So what we did the first, we we discussed together and we saw the the problem framing as a process. You do not need the same kind of information, either the same level of information depending on where you are on this process. And basically, first you need to sell your design suite. So you need to make sure uh, that you have the management commit uh, commitment to to give you some money and to to run it. Then uh, you have to launch the sprint and to prepare the sprint. You need to make sure that uh, you have the right users, for example, for the test uh, on the last day and stuff like that. So you, you need a, a, to go a little bit deeper on the framing. And then another step is uh, when you start your ideation and you need to make sure that everybody on the team is aligned on the problem we want to solve. So first we, we did that and we tried to to list up the changes and some success we had uh, over the past uh, of our past project, and then we focused on two specific uh, uh, steps, trying to define what we call the business change versus the design change. I'm going to let you explain. Um, well, um, I'll try to explain. Sorry for my English. Um, uh, we um, we noticed that there ha uh, there are some differences between the business challenge and design challenge because re regarding uh, whether we are on clients and company perspective or on the user perspective. From a company perspective, the business challenge uh, will target what are the behavior we want for our users. So we are we'll try to solve or answer this question: How do we want the user to behave? Um, after that, we uh, also want to mm, uh, we want to know why uh, why these problems are happening because sometimes we are just having an idea kind of assumption of what the problem is, but maybe it's just a kind of symptom and not uh, the real problem. So why these problems are happening? So we are seeking for fact uh, instead of assumptions. And after that, uh, what are our horizon? Is it a long term or a short term um, process we want to enroll in? What are the uh, resources we want to allocate to uh, this uh, business challenge? And uh, how this business challenge will keep aligned with our strategic vision? Is it it? Okay. I, as I'm asking teammates for the risk, you get it? Okay, fine. Um, well, uh, now uh, that we have defined or framed a kind of problem from the company's point of view, we will try to uh, align it with the user's perspective because what we are trying to do is, as we uh, try to um, illustrate it here, we have the company. This is uh, the company and what the company knows from um, about itself. And here are all the... Um, how we say, uh, the opportunities that she, uh, the company doesn't know s about. But we will try to make the business challenge um, linking both of them, the company, what the company really know about uh, herself and what she can do, what, uh, how, the, the farthest she can go, she can go, uh, she can go. Um, and from the user perspective, what the, our design challenge will be um, here, just um, how we say the intersection, is it the right word? Okay, the intersection between the uh, user needs and the company um, strategic attempts, expectations. Uh, and so this is this what will be our design challenge. So it will uh, uh, answer. It will be based on real user research. Here we were on kind of assumption. Here we are meeting the real users we want to solve the problem for. Uh, so those are our targeted user. We will have the priori prioritized list of pain points because what we are trying to do is to solve real problems. So we'll ask our users, what are your point pain points? What are the problems we want you, we, you want us to solve for you? And we will prioritize them. And then each, each time we will um, solve a problem, we will also seek for the benefits the user will gain from it. Uh, and to uh, make the jointer with the um, company's attempt, uh, not attempts, uh, company's um, needs. Or, yeah. We will also try to keep in mind the benefits for the organization and 
it, it, yeah, uh, in a kind of a solution design space to align with the feasibility and the resources allocated uh, by the company for this design challenge. Uh, and this is uh, also a way to have the support from the stakeholders, which is a kind of prerequisite for our success or the design challenge success. Is that fine?